This is Calabucas for Think Future Extra. Now, some people are really ragging on capitalism. Oh man, do they rag on capitalism. Some people absolutely hate capitalism. They think it's terrible. What was that? I was interviewing somebody the other day and they say, you know, capitalism is going to leave the world in a smoking ruin. And I'm like, mm, no, I don't think so. Because capitalism, if you ask me, is the closest political system to nature to nature nature that's all around us that's right folks nature 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 trust the science think about it for a second think about it for a second look at nature look at nature and and, and some of you might say oh well you know nature is this and nature is that and nature shouldn't do this and nature shouldn't do that and it's not really it's not really right but if you ask me Nature is something that we cannot change. We, as a human, human race, we think, we think we can do these things. We think that we're better than nature. You, we think we can conquer nature. We think with our, with our piddly little, uh, whatever we're doing, with our, with our piddly little nuclear reactors or our piddly little, um, you know, uh, monoxide car create, cre you know, monoxide creation, carbon monoxide creation devices. We think that with everything that human beings do, that we have the hubris to think we have the ability to take down mother nature. Well, mother nature, nature is laughing at us. <laughs> it is having a big old laugh at our expense. Look at what happened in Texas this year. Look at that cold front that came into the United States and basically obliterated the warm temperatures in almost the entire country, except for Florida. That little bit of Florida was still hot, red hot down there. But the rest of the country was blanketed with cold. And what could we do? We couldn't do a damn thing. Did you see that picture of a helicopter trying to unfreeze a windmill? A windmill? When I see that picture, when I looked at that, I thought to myself, wow, human, we have reached the ultimate moment of hubris where we feel that the actions of the human race truly have some type of impact on nature. We don't, we don't, and not just climate change, not just climate change, nature, we are a part of nature. And we are consistently trying to push back against our nature, against nature in general. We are constantly trying to push back against the, these things. And we are failing miserably. If you, if you stop cutting your grass for a second, then in a few months, you are gonna be living in the jungle. We are constantly fighting back nature. And when we leave, when we draw back from wherever nature is, nature takes over with a vengeance. We can't win against nature. We just haven't figured that out yet. We just haven't figured that out yet. We haven't succumbed to nature. Well, some people have, some people have, some people understand, they, get, they totally get it. They understand that no matter what we do, we are a product of nature. And we live within nature and we have to abide by the rules of nature. For example, one of those rules is hierarchy. No matter how many of us believe that a system like communism or socialism, where there's no hierarchies and there's all collaboration and there's no such thing as a hierarchy, we live in a hierarchical universe. How can we possibly fight and create a non-hierarchical system in a hierarchical universe? It's not possible. It's part of the nature of nature and a part of the nature of humanity. So that's why I'm saying is that when you look at a capitalistic system, the capitalistic system is the closest system to nature, right? And instead of fighting the capitalist system, instead of trying to come up with a system that subverts capitalism and in so doing subverts nature, we need to look at systems which not 
subvert them, but work with them to improve the lot of humanity. What can we do to take this system, which is the system that matches as closely as humanly possible, as humanly possible, as closely as possible to nature, and how can we improve the system? How can we improve capitalism to make it better so that all humans will flourish under it? That's what we need to do. We don't need to abolish it. We need to understand that it's very, very analogous to nature. And in that analogy, make it more effective so that human beings can all flourish. Thank you.